My name is Debbie Wilson. I live here in Fayetteville, been here about 24 years. Um, have been visiting New Vision for about three months, uh, looking for a, a new church home. I met the Lord when I was a little girl, and uh, over the years, there were times that I followed Him closely, and there were times that I walked away, but He always pursued me and um, has always helped me through very difficult times. Um, when I was 13, went through a very traumatic time when I lost my father to suicide. Um, then in 1990, lost my mom to cancer. In December of 2015, well, 2014, I had my first episode with melanoma cancer and had surgery um, in 2014. Went through that very well and healed up from that very well. Um, then, a little less than a year, in 2015, I was diagnosed again with metastatic melanoma. Uh, my first visit to the doctor, I said, I don't want to know numbers, I don't want to know stages, I don't want to know um, how long, anything like that, because I know that my Lord is in control. But there was so much love and so much um, compassion from the nurses. I was able to share with them about the Lord. Um, sometimes early in the morning, I'd be reading and nurse would come in and um, would just kind of share my story. The verse that the Lord gave to me though from the very beginning was in Isaiah 41, 13, where he says, I, the Lord your God, take you by the right hand. And I tell you, do not be afraid, for I am with you. And I have clung to that verse that's become my life verse. And um, he has held my right hand all the way through. When I first started my journey with this, though, I went home and I looked in the mirror and I said, Debbie, you're a healed woman, because that's what God's Word says, that by his stripes I am healed. But I had scans and MRIs done, um, and they were all clear. And I have to do that about every three months. And they have continued to be clear of cancer. God has always been right there. And Miss Debbie is right back over here. So uh, she's here celebrating again. We're so grateful for the stories, and uh, if you're taking notes, uh, have some of these that you can pass that they'll pass out to you if somebody wants to do that. If you want to do it digitally, you can go online and use your uh, YouVersion app. You'll click the little bar that says events, and it will bring up uh, the church uh, website. And so we're in the middle of this series called Stories. And we were talking about last week how God is telling a story. His story is a great story. But we have to make a decision if we're going to tell his story or if we're going to try to tell our own. Sometimes we're in competition. Sometimes we want to be the main character. But God is telling his story. We get to be part of it. And so it, this series Así que esta serie is to help us es para learn how to tell a better story. Aprender sobre cómo contar una mejor historia. Because we all want a good story. Porque todos queremos una historia mejor. We all love a good story. A todos nos encanta una buena historia. And I would bet to say y apostaría you want to live a good story. A que ustedes quieren vivir una historia mejor. So what's it going to take for us to live a better story? Así que para aquellos que quieren vivir una historia mejor. Let's look at this verse. Miremos este versículo. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Hebreos capítulo 12, versículo 2. 
It says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge cloud of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race that, a, that God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Now, last week we said that that word champion is also meaning author of our faith. And then it goes on and says, Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now he is seated at the place of honor beside God's throne. Bien, entonces en Hebreos, el capítulo 12, dice, Por tanto, también nosotros que estamos rodeados de una multitud tan grande de testigos, despojémonos del lastre que nos estorba, en especial del pecado que nos asedia, y corramos con perseverancia la carrera que tenemos por delante. Fijemos la mirada en Jesús, el iniciador y perfeccionador de nuestra fe, quien por el gozo que le esperaba soportó la cruz, menospreciando la vergüenza que ella significaba, y ahora está sentado a la derecha del trono de Dios. So one of the things that I was challenging you with last week Entonces, una de las, de las cosas que is this idea nos estaba, eh, retando la semana pasada, era esta idea. that a decision you make today la decisión que tomas hoy will determine the story that you tell tomorrow. La historia que vas a contar mañana. You see, we underestimate the power of our decisions. Estamos sobre, uh, underestimate, uh, subestimando las decisiones que tomamos hoy. Every decision we make affects our story. Cada decisión que tomamos afecta nuestra historia. And so last week we, we were talking about you need to decide to start. Entonces la semana pasada estábamos hablando de necesitamos comenzar. Some of you have been waiting all year long to start something. Algunos de ustedes están esperando por mucho tiempo para esperar y iniciar algo. My question in the last series. Mi pregunta en la última serie. Is what are you waiting for? Es qué están esperando. Why are you still waiting? Por qué están esperando todavía. God is waiting on you. Dios está esperando por ustedes. And so maybe it's time to start. Así que ya es tiempo de comenzar. And so today, por esto, hoy, we're not just going to talk about starting. No solamente vamos a hablar sobre comenzar. We're going to talk about stopping. Vamos a hablar de parar. You see, in order to start a new sentence, entonces pa, en el, para poder comenzar algo, you got to stop the other one. Debemos parar algo. Let me take you back to English. Vámonos un poquito atrás. I know it's the joy of everyone in here. Yo sé que es la alegría de todos aquí. Except for our Spanish speakers. Excepto por los que hablan español. But in English, pero en inglés, en el idioma inglés, we have punctuation. Tenemos signos de puntuación. What is usually found at the end of a sentence? A period. Exactly. And when you don't use a period properly, you end up with what is known as a run-on sentence. You know what I'm talking about? Some of you remember the red ink on your papers. And the teacher says, this is a run-on sentence. Y el profesor les decía, esta frase está mal. When's it going to end? ¿Dónde va a terminar? And some of you are living out a run-on sentence. Y algunos de nosotros estamos viviendo en una frase sin terminar. When is it going to end? ¿Cuándo va a acabar? It's time to put a period there. Ya es tiempo de poner punto final. Some of you just want to live with commas. <laughs> Alguna, algunos de nosotros right? solo vivimos just, just commas, 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 commas. Commas por todos lados. And you just keep the sentence going. Y permitimos que la frase siga y siga. You're not supposed to live that way. No estamos supuestos a vivir de esta manera. You, you, you can't just add another comma. No tenemos que simplemente estar agregando comas y comas. And you're wondering why is this book not turning out the way I want it to. Y entonces siempre nos preguntamos por qué este libro no va hacia donde yo quiero. Why isn't this chapter coming to an end? Porque este capítulo no se termina. It's because you keep adding a comma. Es porque siguen agregando comas. When you need to add a period. Donde necesitamos un punto final. Today is the day to add a period. Hoy es el día de ponerle punto final. Today is the day to say it's time to stop. Hoy es el día de decir decido terminar. So what needs to stop? Entonces qué necesitamos parar? You know what it is. Ustedes saben qué es. It's not like it's a secret. Tal vez no sea un secreto. Maybe to other people it is. Tal vez para algunos lo es. 
but not to you. Pero no para ustedes. You know what needs to stop. Ustedes saben qué es lo que necesitan and you para. keep putting it off. Y siempre lo seguimos posponiendo. You keep thinking there's a way around it. Y siempre pensamos, ah, you keep una thinking forma de that one more comma is, is all I need. Siempre pensamos que, ah, una coma más es lo que necesitamos. But today is the day Pero it hoy needs to es stop. El día que necesitamos parar. Let me give you this thought. Darles este pensamiento. Transactions lead to transformations. Las transacciones nos llevan a transformaciones. What is the main word of transaction? ¿Cuál es la idea principal de transacciones? Thank you. What? Action. <laughs> action. You see, some of us want a transformation with no action. No va a haber una transformación sin una acción. It doesn't work that way. No, no funciona de esa manera. You can't have a transformation without a transaction. No pueden tener una transformación sin una transacción. And God is trying to tell a different story. Y Dios está tratando de contar una historia diferente. You're blaming things on God. Ustedes están culpando a Dios. Saying God's not working. Diciendo Dios no está trabajando. God's saying. Dios está diciendo. You're doing your part. Estás haciendo tu parte. Are you acting on what you know you need to do? Estás actuando según lo que tú sabes que necesitas hacer. There has to be a transaction. Hay que, se necesita una transacción. A time when we say to God, yes. Un momento en el que le decimos a Dios, sí. I'm going to obey you. Yo voy a obedecerte. I'm going to follow you. Yo voy a seguirte. Period. Punto. Right? Bien. No, no dangling modifiers. No nada de modificaciones. No fragments. No fragmentaciones. No run on sentences. No just a simple statement. Solamente algo simple. I will stop. Yo voy a parar. I will follow. Yo voy a seguir. I will obey. Yo voy a obedecer. Period. Punto. Pretty simple. Muy simple. And we wonder why is our story not turning out better? Y siempre nos preguntamos por qué nuestra historia no se pone mejor. It is not God's fault. No es la culpa de Dios. Let's look at this passage. Vamos a mirar este versículo. Philippians chapter 3, verse number 10 through 16. Filipenses del capítulo 3, versículos del 10 al 15. In the uh, notes that you have, it's, it's only going to go through 15, but uh, it's corrected on the screen. En las notas que ustedes tienen, va del 10 al 15, pero pues aquí se va a correr más adelante. Paul says, I want to know Christ and to experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in his face, so that one way or another, I will experience the resurrection from the dead. I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection, but I press on to possess the perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. Lo he pedido todo a fin de conocer a Cristo experimentar el poder que se manifestó en su resurrección, participar en sus sufrimientos y llegar a ser semejante a él en su muerte. Así espero alcanzar la, la resurrección de entre los muertos. No es que lo haya conseguido todo o que, se, o que ya sea perfecto. Sin embargo, sigo adelante esperando alcanzar aquello para lo cual Cristo Jesús me alcanzó a mí. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on one thing. Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. Let all who are spiritually mature agree on these things, and if you disagree on some point, I believe God will make it plain to you. Hermanos, no pienso que yo mismo lo haya logrado ya. Más bien una cosa hago, olvidando lo que queda atrás y esforzándome por alcanzar lo que está adelante, sigo avanzando hacia la meta para ganar el premio que Dios ofrece mediante su llamamiento celestial en Cristo Jesús. Así que escuchen los perfectos. Todos debemos tener este modo de pensar. Y si en algo piensan de forma diferente, Dios les hará ver esto también. And I thought verse 16 was going to be there, but I forgot it. Evidently, I put it in the other places. I have like four places I have to update, and I forgot this. But somebody read me verse 16. Says, let all who, I, I don't want to try to quote it. Yes, let us hold on to the progress that we have already made. Let us hold on to the progress that we've already made. 
Déjanos esperar en el progreso que ya hemos logrado. So, let's go back and look at this. Así que vamos un poquito atrás y miremos esto. Verse number 10, Paul says, I want to know Christ. En el versículo 10 dice, yo quiero conocer a Cristo. Remember last week we were talking about our wanters? ¿Te acuerdas la semana pasada que estábamos hablando de wanters? How our wanter is kind of broken? Oh, como wanters? Sorry. Our desire, our... Oh, sobre cómo nuestro deseo se daña, nuestro, nuestra that, capacidad de That sometimes we, we want Christ. Que muchas veces nosotros queremos a Cristo, deseamos a Cristo. But in the next breath we want something else. Pero en el siguiente respiro ya deseamos otra cosa. And it's because our wanter is broken. Y es porque nuestra capacidad de deseo está dañada. And my challenge was to say, God, I want to want what you want. Nosotros tenemos que decir, Dios, yo deseo lo que tú deseas para mí. Look at what Paul says. Mira lo que Pablo dice. He says, I want to know Christ. Dice, yo deseo conocer a Cristo. I think many of us would say the same thing. Yo creo que muchos de nosotros podríamos decir lo mismo. But then look at what else he says. Pero mira lo que dice después. I want to suffer with him. Quiero sufrir como él. Hold on, Paul. <laughs> Wait, slow down now, buddy. Espérate un momento. Más despacio. Right. I, I, I want to know Christ, but I don't know if I want that. Yo quiero conocer a Cristo, pero yo no quiero pasar lo que él pasó. What Paul is trying to help us understand ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo Pablo aquí? Está tratando is that you de can't de know Christ apart from his sufferings. Que nosotros podemos conocer a Cristo a través de su sufrimiento también. That if we're truly going to know Christ. Que si vamos realmente a conocer a Dios. We have to want all of him. Tenemos que querer todo de él. And what did he say? ¿Y qué es lo que él dice? He said, you've got to be willing to take up your cross daily. Él dice, Ustedes tienen que estar dispuestos a tomar su cruz y a seguirme. You've got to be willing to die to yourself daily. Ustedes tienen que estar dispuestos a morir a ustedes mismos. That's our suffering. Ese es nuestro sufrimiento. Killing the flesh. Matar la carne. Dying to ourselves. Morir a nosotros mismos. You see, that's what's going to help us have a better story. Eso es lo que nos va a ayudar a tener una historia mejor. We've got to decide to stop. Tenemos que decidir parar. What do you need to stop? ¿Qué necesitan parar? Let me give you two things. Déjenme darle dos cosas. Stop holding on to the past. Paren de apuntar hacia el pasado. You know why today is not different than yesterday? ¿Saben por qué el día de hoy no es igual, no es, dif es diferente al de ayer? Because you brought everything yesterday into today. Porque trajeron lo mismo de ayer para hoy. You just keep dragging it along. Siempre siguen arrastrando todo. Trying to bring everything with you. Tratando de arrastrar todo con ustedes. When Jesus said, let it go. Cuando Jesús dice, déjalo ir. You need to let it go. Necesitan dejarlo ir. You know, in order to take up your cross. Para poder... Agarrar la cruz. To take something up. Para levantar algo. You got to lay something down. Necesitas dejar algo. And you can't keep carrying your cross when you're trying to carry your past and everything else with you. No, no pueden pretender cargar la cruz cuando están cargando todo su pasado con ustedes. Why are you trying to bring all of this stuff with you? ¿Por qué están tratando de agarrar todas esas cosas con ustedes? Some of you are carrying guilt. Algunos de ustedes están cargando culpas. Shame. Vergüenza. Problems. Problemas. All of this stuff from the past. Todas estas cosas del pasado. And Jesus is saying, can you let it go? Y Jesús les está diciendo hoy, ¿pueden dejarlas ir? You see, when Jesus died on the cross, Cuando Jesús murió en la cruz, that was not just God's period. Eso no fue simplemente el punto final de Dios. That was his exclamation point. Ese fue su símbolo de exclamación. And he said, it is finished. Y decía, ya está terminado. The past. Pasado. Is in the past. Está en el pasado. Today is a new day. Hoy es un nuevo día. Period. Punto. Let's start a new chapter. Amen. Vamos a comenzar un nuevo capítulo. Listo. Let's Amen. let go of some things. Vamos a hacer nuevas cosas. You've got to decide to start. Deben decidir comenzar. Today. Hoy. So stop holding on to the past. Así que dejen de vivir con el pasado. Number two. Número dos. Stop allowing certain things to overwrite God's story in your life. Paren de permitir que otras cosas sigan sobreescribiendo la historia de Dios en sus vidas. You know, if God's got a story, 
¿Saben que Dios tiene una historia? I believe the evil one has a story for you too. Yo también creo que el And he's going to do all that he can do y él va a hacer todo lo to que overwrite God's story in your life. Para sobreescribir la historia de Dios en sus vidas. And this is what happens. Y es lo que sucede. Is that we start swimming in circles. Estamos comenzando a caminar en circles. Remember the children of Israel? Recuerdan los el pueblo de Israel. They walked in a circle. Comenzaron a caminar en un círculo. 40 years. Por 40 años. Going around the same bush. Dando vueltas alrededor del mismo right? arbusto, ¿verdad? I mean, I don't know how long it took them to get from one place to the next. Yo no sé qué tanto tiempo gasta de ir de un lado a otro. But I've got to imagine if they were wandering in the wilderness. Pero yo me pregunto ¿Qué era lo que estaban haciendo? It was probably a time they were like, didn't we see that? Yo creo que se preguntarían, oh, ¿ya no vimos eso? I think it was like, yeah, three and a half years ago, right? Ah, uh, sí, creo que hace fue como tres años y medio que lo vimos. Looks the same. Se ve igual. Tumbleweed. Mm, igual. Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of those things that... <laughs> oh, uh, una bola de heno. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That thing. <laughs> That thing too. One of those. <laughs> And you know the thing about it is this. Y lo único que piensas es en esto. Is we're like the children of Israel. Lo, el pueblo de Israel. We keep walking in a circle. Estaban caminando en círculos. This run on sentence. Esto sin sentido. When God has said, I've got the promised land for you over there. Cuando Dios les estaba diciendo, yo tengo la tierra prometida para ustedes. If you would just put a period here. Solo tienen que poner un punto final aquí. And move on. Y seguir hacia adelante. Don't let God's story be overwritten in your life. No permitan que la historia de Dios se sobreescriba. You say, well, that sounds great. Bueno, esto suena muy bien. How can I do that? ¿Cómo puedo hacerlo? Glad you asked. <laughs> Estoy feliz de que lo preguntaran. I'm going to give you four really simple things. Hay cuatro simples cosas from this passage to help you out. Así que tenemos esto para poder ayudarles. I think I am. Uh, I, I may have given them the wrong notes. I don't know. That might be why I'm having this problem. But that's okay. I don't need it. Let's let's go here. I got the Bible. All right. So look at what look at what this passage says. Okay. So he says in verse number. Uh, let's see, 12. I don't mean to say that I've already achieved these things or I've already uh, reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No es que lo haya conseguido todo o que sea ya perfecto. Sin embargo, sigo adelante esperando alcanzar aquello para lo cual Cristo Jesús me alcanzó a mí. So underline the words press on. Así que subrayo la palabra sigo adelante. Press on. Seguir adelante. What does press on mean? ¿Qué es seguir adelante? Let me give you a, a, an easier phrase. Déjenme darles una frase más sencilla. Move on. Seguir. All right. Move on. So it, it, it's like Paul is saying. Es como Pablo lo decía. There came a time in my life. Hay un momento en mi vida. When all of the stuff. Donde todas esas cosas. And Paul was a very bad guy. Y Pablo era un hombre muy malo. He wasn't just having Christians killed. Ella no, él no solamente mataba cristianos. It was entertainment for him. Era entretenimiento para él. He was just standing back and watching and enjoying it. Él se paraba ahí y miraba y se divertía con eso. Can you imagine the amount of guilt that he must have had? Puede imaginarse la cantidad de culpa que él podía tener. After he became a follower of Jesus. Después de que él se convirtió en un seguidor de Cristo. When he realized that God had called him. Cuando se dio cuenta que Dios lo llamó a él. And said, Paul, I want you now to go and preach my gospel. Y le dice, Pablo, yo quiero que tú vayas y prediques mi evangelio. There were probably a ton of different stories going on in his head. Me imagino que había un montón de historias que estaban en su cabeza. How can you use me, God? ¿Cómo me puedes usar a mí, Dios? I mean, I've done some really bad things. Yo he hecho cosas muy malas. I mean, I've been a horrible person. Yo era una persona horrible. And God said. Y Dios dijo. Paul, let's move on. Pablo, déjalo ahí, sigamos adelante. That was in your past. Eso era tu pasado. You're a brand new person. Tú eres una persona nueva ahora. I'm making you new. Tú, yo te estoy haciendo nuevo. Period. And there's some of you in this room that you may feel like God can't use you. I've got news for you. God can. God wants to. And all he's waiting for is for you to move on.
puedas avanzar. Saying, let's go. Así que vamos. Let's move forward. Sigamos adelante. You don't need to keep walking in this circle. Dejemos de caminar en círculos. Stories. Las historias. Move forward. Siguen hacia adelante. Amen. Amen. So move on. Así que sigamos adelante. Second word segunda or second palabra, phrase. O segunda frase. Focus on. Enfócate. Paul said in this passage. Pablo dice en los pasajes. He says, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Dice, olvidando el pasado y poniendo mi enfoque en lo que está hacia adelante. But look at the verse right above it. Pero mira lo que dice antes. He says, I haven't achieved perfection. Dice, yo no he alcanzado la perfección. I'm focusing on this one thing. Me estoy enfocando en esta cosa. I'm focusing on Jesus. Estoy enfocándome en Jesús. You know, when I was younger, ¿Saben? Cuando yo era más joven, I really struggled with, am I still saved? Yo siempre estuve como teniendo problemas diciendo, ¿todavía estoy salvo? You know why I struggled with that? ¿Saben por qué tenía problemas con esto? Because I still sinned. Porque todavía cometía errores y pecado. And I'm thinking, man, you know, why am I still sinning? Y yo decía, ¿pero por qué todavía estoy pecando? I've been a Christian for 30 some years. He sido cristiano por 30 y algo de años. I still sin. Y todavía peco. Not as much as I used to. No tanto como solía Praise God. En el pasado. Gracias a Dios. But one of the reasons that I was so guilt driven. Pero una de las razones por las cuales yo me sentía tan culpable. Was because I was focused on myself. Era porque yo estaba enfocado en mí mismo. It was about me being perfect. Era se trataba sobre it was about me living a sinless life. Let me tell you. Jesus doesn't save perfect people. If you're perfect, you don't need Jesus. And so, on the reverse side of that, there's hope for all of us. Right? Because Jesus saves imperfect people. Porque Jesús salva a la gente imperfecta. Paul said, I'm not perfect. Pablo dice, yo no soy perfecto. But I'm going to do this one thing. Pero voy a hacer esta cosa. I'm not going to focus on myself and no my imperfections. En mí y en mis imperfecciones. I'm going to focus on Jesus. Voy a enfocarme en Jesús. And what he did for me. Y lo que él hizo por mí. He's going to be the one I look at. Some of us need to stop tearing ourselves down, beating ourselves up. Some of us need to stop comparing ourselves to other people. Now, I'm not going to park here for long, <laughs> but let me just say, that some of us need to stop with a critical spirit. Que algunos necesitamos parar con el, un espíritu de crítica. A lot of the reasons we tear other people down, you know why? Algunas de las razones por las cuales destruimos la vida de otros, ¿saben por qué es? Because we're trying to build ourselves up. Porque estamos tratando de estar por encima de ellos. So we need to stop with a critical spirit. Así que necesitamos parar con ese espíritu Stop being judgmental. Dejen de juzgar. Stop tearing everybody else down. Dejen de tratar de poner a todo el mundo por debajo. Let Jesus build you up. Deja que Jesús te and if you will focus on him, y si te en él, he's going to tell you the encouraging things you need to hear. Él te va a decir las cosas que you don't need to try to get encouragement by tearing somebody else down. Focus on him. En él. So maybe you've seen this before on the internet. Así que tal vez han, han visto esto antes en internet. But if you haven't, uh, it's really cool. Pero si no lo han visto, es muy so we're going to do it right here. Así que lo vamos a hacer acá. Look at those three dots or four dots. Uh, actually, there are four. Yeah, uh, thank you. Miren esos cuatro puntos que están en la imagen. I Concentra just got my eyes ahí. rechecked. So, yeah. so <laughs> stare at those four dots. Miren esos cuatro puntos. Try not to blink. De no Just keep looking at it. Sigan mirando ahí. About another 10 seconds. Diez segundos. And then when I say go, y cuando yo diga ya, you're just going to blink your eyes really fast. Van a parpadear rápidamente. Go. Ya. Do you see it? 
You don't see it? Okay, look at it again. You might need to get your eyes checked. Maybe you need to read the second part. <laughs> Stare at it again. See look at those four dots. Miren los cuatro puntos. Right in the middle, yeah, where, where the nose would be. Donde estaría la nariz. <laughs> All right, now try. Okay. Or maybe even just look at a blank wall. Mirar a una pared blanca. Get it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, look at the blank wall. Now you see, it's all about what you focus on. Entonces, si, si pueden hacer esto correctamente, si pueden dar cuenta que se trata es en lo que están enfocados. If you will focus on Jesus, si se enfocan en Jesús, just a little bit, solo por un instante, when you look away, cuando miren hacia otro lado, you're still going to see him. Aún van a seguir viendo a Cristo. Amen? Amen. So that everywhere you look, you're going to see Jesus. You're not going to see your neighbor. You're going to see Jesus. You're not going to see an enemy. You're going to see Jesus. You're not going to see race. You're going to see Jesus. Amen? So let's look at Jesus. Focus on him. Number three. Agree on. Pongámonos de acuerdo. If there's anything we need to hear, si hay algo que necesitamos escuchar, it's we need to agree on some things. Es que necesitamos estar de acuerdo en muchas cosas. I love what Paul says. Pablo dice, he says in verse 15, dice en el verso 15, let all who are spiritually mature agree on these things. Así que escuchen los perfectos. Debemos tener de este modo de pensar. And if you disagree on some point, y si tenemos un desacuerdo en algo, I believe God will make it plain to you. Creo que Dios tiene un plan para In other words, en otras palabras, Paul is saying, Pablo está diciendo, if you're going to be mature, si vas a ser maduro, you find a way to agree. La forma de a un if you're going to be immature, si vas a ser inmaduro, you're going to disagree. Vas a estar en But Paul says, Pero Pablo dice, God will deal with those who disagree. Dice que es lo que va a hacer con aquellos que están en desacuerdo. Let that sink in. What are you fighting against? There's so much fighting going on in our world. You know what Paul says? That's for the spiritually immature. But those who are mature, let's not fight against. No, no esto. Let's find something to fight for. Encontremos algo por qué luchar. We're fighting for the Lord. Estamos luchando por el Señor. We're fighting for goodness and grace. Estamos luchando por We're fighting for peace. Cosas buenas, por paz. And Paul says this. Y Pablo dice esto. He says, can we agree on that? ¿Podemos estar de acuerdo en algo? Can we agree that the only thing that matters is Jesus? Because you see, if we come back to Jesus Porque, miren, si vamos, and we si focus on him, Jesús, y nos enfocamos en él, begins to change the way we look at everything else. Las cosas van a comenzar a cambiar alrededor. Some of us need to get back to focusing on Jesus. Algunos de nosotros necesitamos devolvernos y enfocarnos en Jesús. It's not about my opinion or somebody else's opinion. No se trata de mi opinión o la, o la opinión de otra persona. Paul says we all ought to be able to agree on this. Pablo dice todos tenemos que estar de acuerdo en esto. Let's forget the past. Olvidemos el pasado. Let's move into the future that God has for us. Y avancemos hacia el futuro que Dios quiere para nosotros. And if we can be champions of that, y si podemos ser campeones de esto, that we can come together in agreement on that, que podamos reunirnos y estar de acuerdo en esto, that we're just going to focus on Jesus, que solamente nos vamos a enfocar en Jesús, the world will be a different place. El mundo va a ser un lugar diferente. If we can come together in unity, si podemos estar unidos, as the body of Christ, ese es el cuerpo de Dios. So let all who are spiritually mature agree on these things. Así que déjenme decirles. Stop the fighting. Paren de pelear. Period. Punto. Maybe you need to be part of that conversation. Tal vez ustedes necesitan ser parte de esta conversación. Maybe you can help bring life. Tal vez ustedes puedan ayudar a traer vida. 
by simply adding a period. Simplemente poniendo un punto final. Saying I'm done. Diciendo ya, ya terminé. It's in the past is past. El pasado es pasado. Let's move on. Sigamos adelante. By saying, hey, let's, let's rally around Jesus. Diciendo esto, vamos a comenzar a caminar alrededor de Jesús. Let's agree on that. Pongámonos de acuerdo en esto. And then finally, y por último, hold on. Aguanta, espera. Verse number 16. El verso número 16. Somebody read it again. ¿Alguien lo puede leer de nuevo, por favor? Hold to the progress we've made. En todo caso, vivamos de acuerdo con lo que ya hemos alcanzado. Hold on to the progress we've made. Como mantengámonos con el, pro, el, el progreso que ya hemos alcanzado. You got to hold on to that sometimes. Tenemos que mantenernos algunas veces. You want a better story? ¿Quieres una historia mejor? Hold on to the fact that you've gotten this far. Manténganse en el hecho de que han llegado hasta aquí. Because of this. Por esto. This isn't in your notes. Y esto no está en sus notas. It's not on the screen. No está en la pantalla. But let me encourage you to write it down. Pero quiero que lo escriban. Progress. El progreso. Is a process. Es un proceso. Progress is a process. El proceso es un progreso. And we can't rush the process. Y no podemos um, alcanzar el progreso. Man, if I could hurry up and get to the end. Si pudieras llegar hasta el final. You ever done that? Reading a book. Leer un libro. And you're just like, oh, I don't care about all this other stuff. Just, just hurry up and let me get to the end. You ever done that where you're watching a movie and just like, oh, yeah, I know what's going to happen. Let me just fast forward to the end. Yeah, I mean, you know, the thing is this, is that God has already given us the end. We know how it ends. But we can't fast forward it. Pero no podemos adelantarnos a los hechos. It's a process. Es un proceso. So hold on to your progress. Así que aférrense del progreso. Be encouraged that God is carrying you through this process. Anímense y tengan entendido que Dios está durante todo proceso. And because of His promises, y gracias a sus promesas, you will make it. Lo vas a conseguir. Faithful is he who began a good work in you. Afortunadamente, sorry, one second. Faithful is he who started a good work in you, and no. he will perform it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, <sighs> Philippians 1.6. Okay, Philippians 1.6. Faithful is he who started a good work in you. Okay, um. God started a good work. Okay, Dios, el que empezó la buena obra en ti. And he will be faithful to complete it. La va a terminar. The so. process is his. El proceso es suyo. We can't rush the process. No podemos adelantar el proceso. So just hold on to your progress. Así que aférrense a su progreso. So what do you need? Así que, ¿qué es lo que necesitan? To stop today. Para parar hoy. Paul said, he said, I'm not perfect yet. Pablo dice, yo no soy perfecto todavía. But I am making progress. Pero estoy haciendo progreso. And today, Hoy, your progress may start tu progreso puede comenzar by deciding to stop something. Decidiendo parar algo. So what's your life sentence today? Last week it was, I will start la semana pasada, la frase era, yo voy a comenzar a. I want to. Yo quiero. This week it's, I will stop. Esta semana es, yo voy a parar. I will stop lying. Voy a parar de mentir. I'll stop cheating. Voy a parar de engañar. I'll stop spending. Voy a parar de gastar. I'll stop a critical spirit. Voy a parar mi espíritu I'll stop gossiping. Voy a parar de, de chismosear. Whatever it is. Lo que sea. It's time to stop. Es tiempo de parar. Would you pray with me? Vamos a orar. As the band comes, they're going to play. And maybe today, 
you need to make a decision. Hoy tomar una In order for there to be a transformation, there has to be a transaction. Para poder tener una transformación, necesitamos una transacción. So what's the transaction you need to have today with God? ¿Cuál es la transacción que necesitamos para poder tener esa transformación? If you've been holding on to the past, you need to let it go. Si han estado aferrados al pasado, déjenlo ir. It's time to move on. Es tiempo de seguir adelante. Period. Punto. Maybe some of you have been focusing on the wrong things. Algunos de nosotros podemos estar enfocados en las cosas erróneas. It's time to focus on Jesus. Es tiempo de enfocarnos en Jesús. Period. Punto. Maybe some of you have been part of some disagreements. Maybe it's time to start bringing people together. Let's pray for unity. Let's agree on that. Period. And maybe some of you just need to hold on to Jesus. Hold on to that progress. Let his process continue. This purification. Because he's making you holy. And today, you just need to stop. Whatever the Lord is saying to you, let me encourage you to make a decision today. Déjenme decirles que tienen que tomar una decisión hoy. So the altar is open if you need to pray. Así que el altar está abierto si quieren oración. As the music plays. Mientras la música continúa. You just listen to the Lord. Solo escucha al Señor. I will obey. Yo obedeceré. Period. Punto. I will follow. Yo. Period. Punto. I will lay it down. Period. going to give you a few moments. <laughs>